In middle school or elementary school, people demonstrate the chemical reaction between baking soda and vinegar to make a rocket. I feel it's a little bit not safe for the one demonstrate because once the two chemical mix, it's like a time bomb and either it's messy or it's not safe. I'm going to show you today how to safely and you don't have to worry about the time. You can safely mix them. So here's what I do. The first I I pour vinegar into it. Was it just water that was in that bottle already? Yeah, I, I, I dilute a little bit. So I, I pour vinegar into this and then I have a plastic bag. I put the plastic bag uh, into the bottle and, and then I blow into the plastic bag. So I, I blow into the bag to make sure the bag is uh, attaching the wall very well. And then you take as much time as you want to uh, put your baking soda in. Uh, fill this uh, with the desired amount. And then you can estimate how much the bag you really need. So you should uh, not cut too short but not too long. Estimate at least this much you need a, a half. Otherwise, this will not protect you from mixing. Once you decide the lines, you can cut it. See, I cut here. Once you cut it, it looks like a, a little boat inside the bottle. Unless you tip over, baking soda and vinegar is not mixed. You take all your time, try to put the cork in. Most time, you need a, a little bit of tape so you can have a, as, as tight as possible. This will give you more force. So you put the cork in and then you clear the space. You have all the time because here is a protecting. And once you tip it over, that clock is ticking. So I'm going to flip this over and then I'm going to put inside. 